Drake finally responded to 18 niggas people. <laughs> like, a thousand. 20 v1? Like he said 20 v1. That's what it felt like. Yo, he addressed everybody. On the song, like, legit. On legit. the song he said, this made me laugh. He was like, this is 20 versus one. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 what the fuck? <laughs> like, there was a lot Shit of quotables crazy. from this this and, it, and the song is called Push Up, right? I think it's yeah, called Push, push Up, mm -hmm. uh, Drop and Give Me 50. I like By that Drake, title. I, I like it too. I like everything about it's it, like, honestly. Yeah. Play, honestly. Play on and words. Mm -hmm. The moment. Mm -hmm. Before we even get into like the actual breakdown of this, I just want to go on record and I just want to say Drake is just better than everyone. Wait, wait, like, <laughs> oh, oh, this is what we're going to do. This, that's just really what as it comes down to. He is just better like, as an artist. Yeah, not as a man. I don't know what that means. No, no, this might be yeah. happening because he's not better as a man because everyone's fucking mad at the, mad at him. So I, I didn't even really mean as a man. I meant like as a rapper and artist, right? He, yes, I will say that's what you're he's just like. Yeah, I, I really just want to start there. Like he's and and it's okay for me to admit it. It's okay for everybody else to admit it. Like what, it's, what's going on? He is just better. <laughs> admit what? And not better. It makes sense. Everything it sense. is better when he is on a song. Oh, yeah. trying, yeah. I love Drake, but y'all are trying to make me raise my blood pressure. Not, are you saying that as if there's just no room for competition? I'm saying like, all right. Yeah. Like, and, what are you saying? In the history of this podcast, you know where yeah. I stand when it comes to Drake and Pusha T in particular. Yeah, right? you fuck with Push. I'm a Pusha T fan. I think Pusha T killed him. I was champion Pusha T, and I will continue to champion Pusha T because I believe he is one of the elite MCs, artists of our generation. He doesn't get enough credit, in my opinion. I really, yeah. I appreciate his approach to the game. Like Pusha T is that guy to me. Yeah. But I can also look at Drake and say, oh, everybody hates him. Yeah, now sure, he may have done a lot of fuck shit, and we'll get to the fuck shit because Rick Ross addressed some of the fuck shit. Uh, the weekend, all of these people can't be mad at you. Like, you can't be the common denominator in hate and not do some foul shit. So, I can acknowledge that. But then sometimes things and people are just undeniable. And when I hear Drake, he just makes everything better now when i get into that because i know we're going to go a million different places but the first thing that allows me to say that so fucking call him drake adobo no, you just, nigga? like literally <laughs> he just makes everything better he's like hot adobo. sauce he's like, whatever you want to put whatever condiment you like to put on your food is what he is right like my brothers they love barbecue sauce he's barbecue sauce to some people he's hot sauce to others and and other artists have utilized him in that way right like everybody he's beefing with has utilized him in that literally, way literally crazy yeah my first thought was like how is everyone okay not how is everyone coming for him but his point i knew he was gonna br bring it up and he's like yo i put all of you like at the top of the charts i knew he was gonna bring that up because it's, it's true it's a valid point but mm -hmm. when i say he's better than everyone i simply say that because he is probably the only person who can beat ghostwriting allegations like he legit, it's been proven that he has writers and ghostwriters. So you want to know what makes it a little bit different for me on the ghostwriting thing? I think it's hard to really, I think it's hard for the general public to really gauge him because he also makes songs like Hotline Bling. He's also made a lot of pop records, right? He has a lot of records where he's singing on it, right? Mm -hmm. And we all know pop stars to get reference tracks. We know pop for stars sure. to get this shit written for. So I think that's where the line gets so muddy. Where it's but like, we've, we've actually heard yeah. bars be recorded that he's recited line for oh, line shit. right right like it hasn't just been hooks i don't think he fully beat the allegations though of course he's successful like look he sold out his tour mm -hmm. and all that shit. But, he's successful but it's like people will always bring that up yes even yeah. the, even uh quinn miller right yeah for sure right Th that song wasn't not one of the timestamp records right no. it, it wasn't one of the bar bar records right for sure i think that's where a lot of the fans kind of get confused because they go you know what the songs where they've they've caught him with the ghost writing mm -hmm. Yeah. They're along the lines of a sing song. But I think if anybody yeah. else has those type of allegations, regardless of where the 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 lyrics placement was, where really? it's quote unquote ghost written, I think they would take a bigger hit. But I think when you hear the reference track and then you hear Drake, it almost gives day. him more credence yeah. to how great he is because these reference tracks would be ass mm -hmm. sure. if the actual artist or cool. writer yeah. cool. kept them yeah right yep. and so that's when I, I like i was driving here today and i'm listening to his diss track mm -hmm. and it's on repeat i listened to it at least no lie 1200 times yo same z's legit like i've just been listening it's just a to better it. song like it's, it's just a, a better song it's a great song yeah. everything he's saying it, it sounds good and that's what it just comes down to with Drake. Damn. Everything he does just sounds good. Drake fans going to And so today. if I take the approach of like trying to 
analyze this whole beef or whatever you want to call it. Now, obviously, we got to wait for Kendrick. But just saying and being honest with myself as a fan of music and hip hop, whatever you want to call it, like he's just better. I, he's just better. He's just better. That's subjective. So I mean, that's also not the only. I don't know thing. if it's subjective, bro. Super subjective. Like if it sounds, but you said he makes everything sound better. Even if this song sounded better, but Kendrick clearly had like better bars. I'm not saying he did, but if mm-hmm. someone had better bars. That would be way more important in rap beef. Right. Because if you're going off of accolades and what's been collected, mm-hmm. you got to put Kendrick above him. Right? So that's why I'm asking, like, what do you mean by, like, I get it. Like, maybe how he gets on the track and the diss track. Mm-hmm. Out of 10, rate it. 10. I don't know. I don't say it. <laughs> really? I don't know if I would give it a 10 know. out of 10. Okay, you know? 9 out of 10. I think that gets very, like, technical, right? Because then yeah. you got to compare it to, like, historical diss tracks, right? Sure. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if I just give it in this present moment, I'm going to give it a strong 8. I'm going to give it a, a very strong 8. Really? Personally. Um, because, yeah, I think he addressed everybody he needed to address in a manner in which he felt was necessary. I think he revealed some things. I think he had entre- uh, entendres. Okay. Um, I think whenever you hear a song and you have to listen to it multiple times and you still continue to catch new things in that song, yeah. I think that's one of the whole superpowers, right? Like that's why For people sure. revere Jay Z the way that they do, because like, oh my God, I get something new every time I listen to a Jay Z track. Yeah. So for somebody to do that on a diss track and like literally peel back layers on it in that way, I, I got it. I score that high. I have no horse in this race. I want to be very clear because I already know how people feel they feel very deeply about who they love i got love for everybody i got love for kendrick i got love for cole i don't know your, your love on uh <laughs> your layaway it's fine so, we don't need you alex all right my fault Reg. <laughs> reggie reggie loving you enough nigga um and i got and i got love for kendrick i think this is one of these occurrences where drake probably should have made two diss tracks mm. one for the, addressing the field and one going at kendrick and uh, Again, I think he rapped really well on it. Mm-hmm. Me personally, I wasn't in love with it, but he had he had some slick ass bars that I really really liked. I ain't gonna lie, like the drop him and give me fifty. That was funny. Yeah, yeah. We, we've mm-hmm. seen video of Kendrick dropping in the park doing blurt bees, doing push ups. That's funny. He's also an entendre of you know when you drop on TDE, mm-hmm. top gonna take fifty. That was super cool. I fuck with all of that. There was some slick lines on it, but for me. It wasn't enough future and Kendrick. And that's not his fault. It's because he had to go at everybody else, right? Like, damn, nigga, what he says? 20 V1. I think this is really one of these occurrences where, you know what? You could have had one diss track for all of them. And I'm going I'm to keep, keep it a buck with y'all. I would have been okay with that. Like, if they had responded back to him numerous amounts of times, mm-hmm. but he put that one out just for all of them over there, I would have been cool if he didn't respond back. That way, it doesn't take the attention away from Kendrick. Why do I say that? We see how Rick Ross has uh, stepped into the battle. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Shout out to Rick Ross. Shout out, we, we love Rose. Right? And uh, I wish Drake would have did that flow. Mm. That sicko mode flow that everybody loves, that first person shooter that Drake has developed into, I hate that flow. Wait, should we, should we play flow? some of the song? Yeah, we could play some of that song. All right, let's play, we, let's play some. Let's play a little bit. Shout out to who, kid. Serious, what up? So the first line, this don't like, feel like sickle mode. I'm so tired of this. Wait, what? What's the flow? Like, like, like this vibe. Like yeah, we'll talk about it. Let me hear it. Hey, I could never be nobody number one fan. Fusion. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. Fusion. Pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the hit maker y'all depend on. He's that. That's true. I'm the hit maker that y'all depend on because who else is making hits like him? Who? And also, I, I want to bring this point out to people because I seen somebody tweet this, and I don't want to take credit for it. But I, I'll read the the tweet verbatim, and I did not write that person's name down, so forgive gotcha. me. Is it Thanos? No, because <laughs> oh, everyone's referencing that tweet. No, but somebody said Drake gave niggas hits, and niggas gave Drake credibility. I feel like that's an even exchange. Great swap, and I agree. That's why I'm agree. confused when I hear it. So when Drake says, mm-hmm. "I gave y'all number one hits." Mm-hmm. Yeah, but a lot of people also gave you a lot of, you know. Real talk, do y'all feel like he would have got the same stamp in the streets if he didn't have the future next to him, if he didn't have a Rick Ross next to him? That's true because at the end of the day, he's, right. a, he's a little Canadian boy, you Respect, know? and I love him, so. but he would have just been the pop star. 
Right? Like the dude that we all know makes music, but I think internally mm -hmm. he would have been tight that he's probably looked at as a combo. Yeah. Again, uh -huh. I don't think he's a combo. I don't know the nigga personally, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, but I do yeah, think yeah. if you don't get next to those niggas, the rest of the industry, the fans, the supporters, they look at you different, man. But I think this shit is so fun yeah. because the, the illest thing about all of this is everybody's acting. The only <laughs> difference between Drake and Rick Ross is that Drake got checks to act in like actual TV. <laughs> like Rick Ross was a, a, a officer, legit. Yeah. And we accept it and it's cool because the nigga makes slaps and he really talked Stay about there. it in a way where we Thank like, yo, you. that shit, it sounds amazing. Thank you. All of it is branding. All of it is manufactured. Mm -hmm. So like if we really, really, and this is why I love Pusha T. Going back to what I said at the top of the, no, legit. <laughs> Let me hear it. Let me hear it. <laughs> there's a lot of cosplaying in this shit. There's okay. a lot of cosplaying in this shit. I'm with you. I and think, yeah. we've heard people say Drake got the ultimate bag. He could pay for any information, anything and anybody that he needs to get in touch with, he can and he will do it. Which is why I think this beat, this matchup between Kendrick and Drake is going to be phenomenal because he has the budget to say, I will pay any amount of dollar to get dirt on Kendrick Lamar. Wait, speaking of, because I think we just skipped over what Alex said about mm -hmm. like, oh, I wish he had a separate diss track just specifically for Kendrick because mm -hmm. that's what we care about. I don't know though because Kendrick basically had like a 16 about Drake and Cole. So Yeah, he didn't need a whole verse. So I Drake agree dropping yeah. um, push-ups, it was like the the equal Equivalent. energy. Like he he dropped a few... I think it's a little different, right? Wrong. Because I agree with you, right? Drake and Cole were on the same song. So if anything, he's addressing a body of work that was shot at him or but the that, shit that made him feel personal. That song wasn't like a, a diss. It wasn't aimed at him. But see, that's the problem with us fans. Okay. I don't give a fuck what y'all think is a diss or not. Yeah. If I know I'm Kendrick Lamar, I got all these fucking Grammys. Yeah. I got more Grammys than all the niggas you love. Again, I'm not putting the Grammy on the pedestal. I'm just mm -hmm. saying in terms of accolades. If I know I'm him. If I know I have the classic albums, mm -hmm. we already argued about this already, Fact. and it's debatable about what classic albums Drake and Cole got. If I know that and I'm Kendrick Lamar, I'm taking it as a fucking diss. I am. But you, the rumor, you don't see a the, big three? What the fuck you mean? Ain't no the, big, huh? The rumor that I've heard and also Joe and them reported is that they wanted Kendrick to be on that song. First person shooter? Yeah. Uh, the rumor is that they wanted Kendrick to be on first person shooter with the three of them. Yeah. It would have been the three of them. So nah, if he declined it, I, yeah. and then they did whatever they did, mm -hmm. like, like, and, all right. You I, still know gotta prove I, I still gotta prove I'm better than you, though. You know, I hit the group chat, and I'm like, yo, yeah. guys, let's do an emergency podcast about all that's going on. <laughs> yeah. Now, let's say Alex was actually available, and Reggie was in Mexico doing whatever the fuck she was doing in Mexico, <laughs> and then you and I actually did a podcast, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You you can't be mad. Yeah, and then I was mad, and that was like, you what can't the fuck? be mad. Like, and you also, you ain't want to do it, but you, you couldn't do it. But for you whatever also, reason. but you also can't be mad if I go over there and respond and show you that I'm. Better. But it's, it's not. It, it's you not, can't be mad. It's only response because he initiated that. that I, I I would we we have seen history of at least Drake and Kendrick having friction. Oh yeah, so, so this like, wouldn't be the birth there's of what started that. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly what I was gonna say. Like, it's not like he's mad at just first person shooter. Like, they were beefing before that. That would be like if y'all did an emergency pod without me, but we've been fighting, so now we're all just mad at each other. Right, right, uh, right. Yeah. I'm Rick Ross, man. Like, I, I, it's it's got to be something that really bothered him. And on the leak leak diss track, do you have it? You know, it's on streaming now. On which one, Drake? Uh, yeah, or Rick Ross. yeah. Well, we got we got to keep now. Nah, we got to keep going, Drake. Keep it on Drake. Mm -hmm. We got to keep going, Drake. Rick Ross later. Yeah, that's later. We got to keep going, Drake. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you bitch stepping with a size seven man zone? This the part with the bite, nigga. What's up? <laughs> I know my picture on the wall when you cook up. Extortion, baby. Hope for red. You been shook up. Cause top told you drop it. Give me fifty likes of push ups. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Wait, do you, do you not like care about the how you pick stuff in with Yo, a Alex, size how do you of a man's on? This? I Why did you? Well, I, I thought it was. You look mad. Alex is unimpressed. He's unimpressed. I don't like unimpressed, that for right? you. Like, you wanna unimpressed, right? Like, you want to know why I'm a little bit unimpressed? Because your man's is. I get it. Nah, nah, nah I get know. it. Yo, yo, <laughs> nah. yo, you know what? Y'all niggas might have to step out the room. This nigga acting different when his man's in the room. Yo, this is like when a nigga go to a basketball court and his girl watching. That nigga start to a mad moves and shit. You gotta put your shit up. Yo, come on, bro. Pop. <laughs> I think I think Drake did a great job. I'm unimpressed a little bit. Okay. Only because of the next round. 